By the way, when you stop at a park, you obviously expect to see people walking, jogging, kids riding their bikes, and everybody kind of relaxing. You probably don't expect to see or maybe hear opera. But if you happen to be heading toward Palmer Park tonight, you might want to bring a blanket, maybe a lawn chair for a special show. Paula Tutman has a preview. So if you're not into cruising, or even if you are into cruising, but you just want to kind of get off of Woodward, off the drag, and chill a little bit, just take Merrill Plaisance into Palmer Park, follow it all the way to the Splash Park, or just follow the sounds of beautiful music. A moment, please, to enjoy the beautiful voices of Detroit Opera's touring ensemble. This afternoon, members of the touring ensemble prepared for this evening's Opera in the Park performance in Palmer Park in Detroit. Listen carefully and you get a sense of the true excitement. You may feel like you've heard this music before, even tonight. If it's your first time, you'll be experiencing it with two very important characters the libretto rarely adds. The sounds of the city and nature are what make these outdoor performances even more fun. Birds chirping or, you know, kids playing outside or a car just going by. You kind of block out a little bit when you get in the zone. So I, I kind of didn't hear the alarm. I didn't even notice the airplane, but uh, the butterfly kind of saw out the corner of my eye. But once I'm in that zone, everything is just, I want you to come into this new world with me that I'm trying to take you in the journey. But attendees will also be introduced to a new character to Michigan Opera's stage. It's the debut performance of Kathy Mayer, who despite being sight impaired, shows the depth of diversity this opera company is committed to. I use a lot of muscle memory, so I know where to place the sound and not to push when you're outside, not to over sing. The performers truly represent the community. The community outside the walls or doors uh, of Detroit Opera are reflected on the stage. Amelia, she is about to die. Her husband is out to kill her because he believes she has been unfaithful. But Valentin is a soldier. He's about to go off to war and he's in a bar with a bunch of his buddies, the soldiers, and he just all breaks out with this, this, this prayer. So again, the event starts at 7 o'clock. It's only about an hour, but it will be time well spent. Paula Tutman, Local 4. Opera at Palmer Park is free, by the way. Everyone is invited. This is also a great opportunity to get a taste of the new theater season that opens in September.